Hey there, son of peeps. Let's go over this case. So here we have a patient that has uh, liver cirrhosis. Here you can see some ascites. Uh, they've had a history of portal hypertension and multiple liver masses as well. So we're pretty much doing a portal vein Doppler. Um, here you can see the, the aorta and the IVC. This is transverse. And then here in the portal hepatis, you can see the main portal vein. It doesn't seem to be dilated, although this portion seems a little bulbous. And some increased periportal echogenicity, probably fibrosis. All right, so here's the intrahepatic IVC. So main portal vein is usually going to go in, bifurcating to right portal vein, anterior right portal vein, posterior right portal vein, and left portal vein. Let's take a look at the normal. Here you can see a transverse view, main portal vein, right, right anterior, right posterior, and left portal vein. So here's main portal vein, right anterior, right posterior, main portal vein. So right portal vein, right anterior, posterior, and left portal vein, and then the branches into the left lobes, or the left segments. The diameter was 9, so it's not enlarged, it's less than 1. Upper limits usually are 15 millimeters or 1.5 centimeters. But you see that the portal vein is going this way. It doesn't have to seem to have the other right anterior branch and definitely doesn't have a left branch. So it flow is going hepatopedal, so towards the liver, and you see the hepatic artery there. Flow is a little pulsatile, but no reversal of flow. This is one of the lesions in the liver. That's right there by the portal hepatis. So you see the flow is going here into the right portal vein and then into the IVC. All right, so this is a spontaneous portal systemic shunt. Now, people who have cirrhosis and portal hypertension, they can get TIPS procedures where they put a, a uh, synthetic catheter to shunt the flow, but this happens spontaneous. All right, so here's a clip. Here you see the flow going into the portal vein. Here's the hepatic artery. Wrapping around, going to the right portal vein region, and then going into the IVC. So a portal systemic shunt. That's the mass right here. Those numerous masses in the liver, seen on ultrasound and even more seen on CT. All right, so left portal vein. See, there's no flow in the left portal vein and any of the, you know, potential segmental branches. And then these are hepatic veins. All right, so just want to show you this case of a spontaneous portal systemic shunt in a patient with a history of cirrhosis, liver lesions. Here's another lesion right here by the middle hepatic vein. And cirrhosis. You see ascites. And these images were taken with the GE Logic E10 using the curved 6 megahertz probe. All right, take care. Bye.